What's up, people? Today we are going on a roller coaster, I think. Right? Yeah. We're going to Luna something by St. Kilda West. It's on the park. Not on the park, on the beach. What are you doing? <laughs> She's snapping me. So we're going to go on the roller coaster today. That's the game plan. Um, maybe we'll go on some other rides. We're going to check it out, see what it's about. We might have gotten an apartment this morning. I'm really excited about it. We got called about one. I don't know if that means we're actually going to get it or not, but I don't know. They said they're going to call us after lunch and let us know. So. That could be really big. Okay, we made it to Luna Park. Obviously, it's closed because that's just us. We don't obviously look it up and find out whether or not it's going to be open, so it's closed. Luna Park is only open on Saturdays and Sundays. We didn't know that, so we went all the way down here, and now uh, we can't go in. I think you should learn from us in that you should look up where you're going before you go there. Because we've done this like three or four times now where we said we're going somewhere, we get there and it's closed or something's going on or whatever. So look stuff up before you go. It's a good idea. Okay, we were talking about this on the tram. I want to throw this out there completely side note. has nothing to do with this park or Melbourne. Monopoly. Why is it so famous if no one has ever finished the game? I'd like to meet someone who's finished it more than twice. Like, no one has ever finished it more than twice. That's not true. I doubt you've actually completed the game completely. No one has, but it's so famous. Why? It's a very confusing thing. situations reminded me of free will you got michael in the back look at this view oh yeah with the rocks you know where you stand there like this it's a penguin penguin right there see him Up grocery shopping, we're gonna head home now. It's so nice outside today. I hope our ice cream doesn't melt. And now the award we're watching the Oscars, they're about to announce Best Picture. I've heard that there's like kind of controversy over who's gonna win this La La Land or Moonlight, and that there could be some sentiments towards the Academy if Moonlight doesn't win. Um, I haven't seen either film, so I can't say how I feel about it, but. It seems that uh, Moonlight won like Best Screenplay or something like that. And Emma Stone just won for uh, Best Leading Actress and La La Land won for a bunch of stuff. I think Best Director and, and Musical Score. So I don't know, it, it'll be interesting to see how it turns out. Well, you gonna know that I love you. This is the dream. For Best Picture. <laughs> Whoa, okay, so to add to the drama of this whole situation, La La Land gets called up by the, announce, the announcers, and they think they won the award, but apparently they had been given the slip that said Emma Watson, which was the previous award, um, and so they didn't know what to do, so they called up La La Land, when in reality, Moonlight had won. That's what went down. I don't know what to say. I guess I have to go watch both movies. Personally, I think it's a little silly to get upset over an award show, but I mean, I understand these people put their lives and their heart and their soul into all this stuff and they want to win. It's sad that one group thought they won and then get told they're not, and then the other group didn't think they won and then they won. But at the end of the day, like, you're just celebrating two really awesome films and the people who partook in them so maybe it's a good thing that they both got to go up and people cheered for both there's just so much worse stuff going on in the world than to be worried about the best film of 2016 that no one will remember in four years unfortunately all right we're going for our evening stroll i feel like an old person i feel like we've done this a few days now but we just try to like get out of the house we are just constantly like googling apartments and emailing for jobs trying to like yeah. do ad adult <laughs> things adulting we're by albert lake and this is where like the grand prix is the melbourne grand prix 
I'm pretty pumped up. I think it's like next month. Um, the guy that you met earlier, like not earlier today, but yesterday, or was it yesterday? Yeah, Alonzo, him and I are gonna go for sure. Brie will probably come. Unless she doesn't want to, I don't know. But yeah, this is where it is, it's pretty sick, look at that. Look at these swan looking things, I don't even know what they are. Look at, what is that? What is that thing? It does have a red head. Zoom in on it. <laughs> I'm pretty bummed out that we uh, missed out on uh, Luna Park today, but you know what? Um, you know, you gotta learn a lesson from it, which is to look stuff up when you're traveling, because otherwise, you're gonna show up to places that are closed, like us, or not get tickets, like us. Uh, tomorrow, we are going back to the apartment hunting. Ugh, vlog is over.